80s as the leader of Boston's Winter Hill Gang, terrifying South Boston for decades. Anahita Setagatfar is a defense attorney. She joins me now. He didn't testify, says it was involuntary because he didn't get a fair trial. Does that hurt? His defense? I don't think it would have made any bit of difference if he took the stand or didn't take the stand, but I don't think anyone's surprised that he didn't. I mean, he has decades worth of criminal baggage. He's alleged to be a, cr a mob criminal. I think the prosecution would have been salivating at the opportunity to cross examine him. I mean, can you see him on the stand trying to explain away 19 murders? Yeah, but he's 83 think... years old and he likes to talk clearly. He stood up in court and said, I, you know, you didn't give me a fair trial here. He's clearly a guy that wanted to tell his story when he says they wouldn't let me talk. I mean, is, is it a potential for an appeal? Well, I think him making that statement that it's involuntary is a sham itself because his attorneys certainly advised him it's his constitutional right to take the stand. Yep. No one makes that decision but him. The judge also certainly advised him of that. He didn't want to take the stand, and he that's obvious. He might be just saying this to try to create a circus atmosphere, or maybe he is trying to set up some type of appellate issue because the evidence is so overwhelming against this guy, you so had you to never know. You had to love the pictures in court that made him seem like like just this sweet old guy, you know, yeah. the defense saying, oh, here he is playing with the dog, and oh, here he is going to his flower garden and stuff, and the prosecution was not happy with those yeah. pictures. They weren't happy. They claimed that this violated the court's gag order, but clearly the defense is desperate here, and what they're trying to do in the 11th hour is really trying to shape the, the juror's impression of this guy, even the public perception, because all we've seen so far in the media and even what's been presented to those jurors is this image of this guy as a murderer, as a monster, so they're really trying to say, look, here's him with his family, hears him with his dog, but it's not going to make any difference because he could have pictures with the Pope or Mother Teresa, <laughs> and I don't think anyone yeah. is going to be swayed by that. There was finally the issue of the money. You know, he was arrested in Santa Monica, 850 mm -hmm. some odd thousand dollars found inside, and he said, no, I'm going to give it to the victim's family. You can't really give dirty money to anybody you want, can you? <laughs> How generous of him, Trace. He wants to compensate the victim's families, but newsflash, he doesn't decide where this seized money goes if he gets convicted. Obviously, that's going to be up to the court system. And I think, again, that's another desperate attempt by the defense to try to sway those jurors, yeah. show him to be a nice guy. Look, he wants to compensate the, the victim's families. But, again, I don't think anything is going to sway those jurors. Maybe he opinion. is a nice guy. Ana, he Never know. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Well, the FBI has now determined it could not have done much more to prevent the Boston Marathon.